Hello guys, Cool Canadian right here, and I'm here to show you this amazing new thing that I kind of just made. A ATOS, which is usually an ATO, but I'm going to call it an ATOS. It's an auto top-off system. Okay, so you can call it ATOS, or ATO, ATO system. Anyway, getting to the point. It starts off, okay, if you're wondering what it is, it literally just, if the water goes to a certain height, like if it goes too low, it will rise, the wa it'll turn on a pump and the water rises up until it gets to a certain point and it stops. Okay, the pump. And so, let's get started. So, it starts off, as you see, we got two outlets. Okay. And a power bar. Of course, power bar. And so right now, the power bar is off. It does look on, but it's got the little white thing you just press. So anyway, you got outlet one and outlet two. I'm going to call these K. Okay? So outlet one, you follow it, la 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 la, all the way to this box, power supply, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so the power supply, what it does, it every every outlet over there, uh, let's see, every outlet has exact holds exactly. Well, give pro produces 120 volts per part. Okay, well, whatever you want to call. It, I'm sorry. And so what this does is it converts 120 to 12 volts. Okay, and so I can change it because. When it's on, this is, come on, just like, gotta focus. So that's DC on, DC off, low. And this is a, uh, voltage ADJ, or whatever that is for, sorry. Uh, it's, yeah, no, what it is, is this is for, you can, as you see, you can sk stick a screwdriver in there, no worries, it's safe. And twist it around so that you can actually... What do you call it? Change the voltage. Okay, and so then, once you've, okay, since this plug has three prongs, you've got one here, one here, and one here, which is live, negative, and ground, okay? So, the black one is live, the white one is negative, and this is, the green is always ground, okay? Green is always ground. And so you're like, well, what does it do? Okay, well, I already told you. So it's like, well, how does the pump work? So then you turn over here, and you got this, which I just... What are they called? This is going to be the aquarium bucket, and this is the bucket full of water. That the bucket from here will be transferred into the tank. Okay, this is the tank. And so what this is, it's a magnet inside which will actually switch off the current when another magnet gets close. So here's my float switch. I literally have three magnets on. And when I get it, it's not on right now, so it's not going to make it click. When it gets to a certain height or whatever distance, it will shut it off. And actually, I'm going to try it out right in a few minutes. And so then it goes all the, then it follows the positive again all the way, so that, like that's the switch. And it follows all the way down over to the relay. Okay. And the relay is connected to the positive, which is then also to the negative. The negative also goes back to the power box, of course. So you have a circuit. And you're probably also thinking, well, what about these two wires? or this wire, whatever you want to call it. This is for outlet two. And you follow outlet two all the way around it. The positive goes in, which when this, when a, the magnet comes close to here and shuts that part off, this turns, that little red thing over there will actually flicker, to, uh, not really flick, but switch to one side. Uh, I believe it's to the left, and so, which will actually shut off the gate for electricity. As you see, it's a 12 volt, come on, right there, 12 volts DC, and so same thing with this, this has to be DC, what are, whatever, the, like this is basically just uh, a thing for this, because you have five prongs in an outlet, I'll show you in just a sec. 
Like these are really helpful. I just gotta Okay, just a sec. Just give me a sec. There. You got five prongs. And so what this is, it basically you got positive and negative and a whole bunch of other things, okay? Uh, and so literally what it is, it's instead of soldering all the wires to each little part and have it showing everywhere and having it like it'll having what it called problems if you're not a good solderer you can literally such as myself just stick it right in there wait for the click which is this and so then that that's like a good gate as well and so if you again follow back to uh, outlet two, the positive goes into number two, and then the negative goes into gate number four. And if gate number, uh, if the, uh, sorry, this is still positive, but this is the first positive. Let's call this positive one and positive two. If pos positive one always has to be number two, okay, always. And positive four, sorry, positive two, sorry, I'm thinking. Well, if you want it to switch off when the magnet gets to a certain height, like right here or whatever. You have it in number four. If you have it in number three, it'll always be off unless it gets to here. Okay. So when it gets, if it's mag, if the float switch is right, let's say here, and it goes here, it'll shut off the pump. But if it's down here, oh no, it would turn on the pump. If it's down here, it turns off the pump. Or anywhere, wherever, as long as it's not close to here, okay? So literally, if you put, put it in four, if, it, if the, uh, the floating switch is right here, it turns on the pump to up here and stops. And so I have two buckets. Also, that marks the level of this one, the top part. Same thing with this, as you see. And so then, uh, if, then if you keep following outlet two, it goes all the way over here. Which, me, I didn't want to split this cable, so because it's a really good pump. So what I did, I just plugged it into this part, which is, you know, a part of a plug-in, whatever you want to call it. I'm sorry, I'm tired. And then that all goes all the way to the pump. Okay, as you see, I got the pump, and so in which bucket was it? Oh, it's not in here. I got a tubing for the pump. I got this little, just like, black part that goes into the pump, okay? So, it just goes in, oops, like that, easy, okay? Hopefully I'm making sense. And, oh yeah, here is my little piece for my float switch. So literally all you have to do you just grab your float switch, put it in, lift it up, you're good. That's it. That's all the float switch really is. Okay? And then you hook it up. And my, oops, good. See? Floating. And it's buoyant. See? Well, it's, and so you gotta line it up with. Uh, this switch and so like I said the magnets are facing downwards so that I can get a little bit higher up and so let's see everything is wired up and now we just got to grab my pump put it in here carefully fill the uh, what I got Fill it up with water. Come on. No, it's not being cooperative. There we go. Shake it up. Put your thumb on. Oops. Undo that knot. And then put your thumb back on. This just makes it sealed, okay? And then put it in here. No air bulbs. No, not even one, okay? And so, 
You gotta think. We can actually turn it on now. Just good. So I'm gonna mount this up and keep fast forward everything and see you in a few minutes. Actually make that a few seconds. Sorry about that. Uh, a few milliseconds anyway. Now we are about to start in a few seconds. Just got to do this, which actually does create a little bit of a siphon, but don't worry about that. This, okay, and starting in three, two, one. Okay, so as you see, this, uh, wait, can you see, yeah, you can, okay, uh, this, oh, I turned it back on, there, see, we'll just lower it a bit, on, off, on, off, cool, right, and this is my automatic top off system, so yeah, hope you guys like, and subscribe as you see the water actually went down quite a bit and quite a bit here too well it went up okay so hope you guys like this video like and subscribe cool canadian out